This is Gemunden in Austria, seen from the local cable car. It's a great view, isn't it? It's not long since I moved to Austria and Gemunden is already one of my favourite places to visit. In this film, I'll show you around this great little town. Gemunden, with a population of about 15,000, is a town on the north shore of the Transe Lake. It's a popular spot in the Salzkammergut region of Austria, to the east of Salzburg. Now, this area used to have a big salt mining industry, but these days tourism, forestry and Gemunden ceramics are more important. And it's not surprising that the area around Gemunden attracts a lot of people because it is spectacularly beautiful. Recreational opportunities here include winter sports, hiking, mountaineering and cycling. At the lake itself, swimming and water sports are popular, as is sailing. If you don't own a boat, there are plenty of lake tours available, or you can hire a small boat at the lakeside. This part of Austria, the state of Upper Austria or Oberösterreich, is close to Germany and the Czech Republic and it's just a couple of hours away from Vienna by train. If you arrive at the railway station, ancient trams can carry you down the hill to Gemunden Lakeside and it's well worth the ride. They're improving and extending the tram system, but I hope they keep the old tram cars because they really do add to the charm of this place. After the tram ride, we sat in a lakeside cafe for a while to admire the view, then walked around the town centre to soak up the atmosphere. The town hall is well worth a look. Its stucco decoration dates from 1756 and the bells below its clock aren't metal. They were actually made out of Gemundana ceramics. Next, we walked around the northern end of the Traunze, and at this boatyard we encountered a mute swan sitting on the bank with six cygnets. She took them away from us into the water as we walked past, and her mate arrived shortly afterwards. Note that, despite their name, mute swans aren't actually mute. Our next stop was the Grunberg cable car, or Seilbahn, which we reached after walking for a few minutes more. As you enter the lower station, you can see an old Seilbahn cable, just so you know what will be keeping you suspended in the air. You can walk up Grunberg. It's a relatively small mountain, but we took the easy option. Each of the two cable cars holds up to 60 people and takes you from Gemunden town, which is about 425 metres above sea level, to about 1,000 metres at the top station. I enjoyed the cable car ride. To me it feels a bit like being on a slow but very high roller coaster. As you ascend, there's a great view of Gemunden, the lake and the Austrian countryside. Austria isn't all mountains though, as you can see here looking past the cable car at the top station. Nevertheless, the views from Grunberg are breathtaking. This is the view from a trail running towards the Laudachsee mountain lake. The dominant mountain here is the Traunstein, which rises straight out of the Traunsee to a height of 1691 metres. There are plenty of hiking trails on Grunberg. The network of trails is about 20 kilometres long, with well-maintained routes. They are well signposted and there are suitable options for everyone from easy routes to more challenging trails. Those trails which are suitable for mountain bikes are also signposted. Many of the trails are family and pushchair friendly and in fact some of the trails are quite wide and suitable for wheelchair users. On one of the trails we found this great spot to refill our water bottles. If you're hiking here you should set off with plenty of water and keep yourself well hydrated. It can get very hot here in the summer, despite being over 900 metres above sea level. The Laudagse mountain lake was our destination for this hike. This idyllic small lake nestles in a natural hollow in the mountains and is 894 metres above sea level. It's popular with hikers and families. It's also a good lake for swimming and maybe a picnic. And the lake makes for a natural rest stop during a hike. The lake is also small enough to walk around in 40 minutes or so at a leisurely pace. When we walked around the lake, we were rewarded with some great views of the Katzenberg mountain. This area is also a nature reserve and during our rest stop, this butterfly landed on me and stayed with me for about 15 minutes. I think it's either a false heath fritillary or perhaps one of its close relatives. Before leaving Laudachsee, we stopped at the Ramsau Arm a restaurant above the lake. It was very busy there, but our food arrived quickly. This is my beef soup with vegetables and shredded pancake, and it definitely helped to fortify me for the walk back to the upper cable car station. Finally, it was time to ride the cable car back down. I particularly like the bit where you go over a pylon. The structure rushes at you, and then you go over it with a lurch. 
And of course, the view on the way down is just as good as the view on the way up. As you clear the second pylon, you can see the cables running down towards the lower station. They seem improbably thin, considering the load they're carrying, and seem to disappear from view as they snake into the distance, carrying you home. So that's Gmunden. It's well worth a visit, and if you're visiting Austria, it's easy to get to. We got there by train using the fast intercity line that runs between Vienna and Salzburg. We changed at Atnang Puchheim and it was then just another 20 minutes or so to Gmunden town itself. Now before I close, um, if you haven't heard of Gmunden before, well you might have heard of Conchita Wurst. The winner of the 2014 Eurovision Song Contest was born there in 1988. Well that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel and maybe leave some comments in the comments section below. Uh, I hope to see you again very soon with more from Austria and in the meantime you can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. So that's all for now. Bye!